Hello everybody, it's a Peaky Miner here. I hope you're all doing really well and thank you very much for tuning in to this next episode in the Adults Play Java Server series. So today I'm going to be building up my temporary base. I've made the decision it's going to be in the cave. So I'm going to finish off the little descent into the mine and then I'm going to build up my base in the cave at the top. And hopefully by the end of the episode, I'm going to take my first trip into the nether. So here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is clad everywhere just in cobblestone. Just so that the shape of the descent is how I want it. Okay, so everywhere is covered in cobblestone now. I've got the basic shape. I'll take you for a quick tour down the descent. There you are, that's very quick. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add some details and some texturing just to finish it off. And I'll take you down there again a bit more slowly now. So whenever I go down to my branch mine, it's going to be quite a pleasurable experience. Okay, so let's just see exactly what we've got to work with at the top now. So you come into the entrance and we've got quite a big wide cave and oh, okay, hold on. Can't have creepers around. Ha. Okay, that was quite a good result. Now, where was I? Yeah, we've got quite a big cave that gradually gets a bit narrower and a little less deep as you go further back. That's where the descent is over there. And then at the back of the cave, we've got these little branches as well. This one's full of water at the moment, but it does turn around here, so it's quite a nice little bit of character there. Right, so I've done some work now. I've stripped back a lot of the main cave. And this is what it all looks like. It's all a little bit square, but it's going to give me the room that I need in order to clad everywhere like I did with the descent. I've created these steps up and down to give the cave a bit of depth. And then this tunnel at the back here, I've extended that out a little bit. The next thing that I'll do before I do the cladding, I think, is to give some structure to the whole thing. So I'm going to put some beams in that will make it look like there's some support for the ceiling. And if you're enjoying this series, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a comment down below and drop a like on the video. That would really help me out very much. Please consider doing all of those things. Thank you. Right, so I'm gonna put a few other sets of beams in like this throughout the cave. And then I'll bring you back when I've done that to show you what I've done. Okay, so I've done the walls and the ceilings there. And I think it's all beginning to take shape. Down here is my little um, cave off to the left. It goes down. And then I've got a little middle cave that goes up slightly. And that gets very low as you go further back. 
I think all these little branches make it a lot more realistic as a cave. And then finally, over to where the mine is. And now the floors are done. It's mainly a wooden floor with dirt, because I thought that would be appropriate for um, like a cave stroke mine. I've used spruce and oak, um, mixed in stripped wood and planks, and then obviously some dirt, some of which I've converted into path blocks. Right, so now I've actually finished off most of the base, I think, inside. So it's time for a quick tour. So we go in the door and I've got a bed here. And I've put my very first wooden pickaxe in an item frame and put it on display. Got a mixture of barrels and chests for storage. This is my main storage array. And then over here I've got a little workstation with some of my more valuable items. Then we go down towards the mine entrance and I've got some auto furnaces. So you put the items to be smelted in the top barrels and then coal in the two side barrels and you can smelt lots of things without having to be there and changing everything over and adding fuel all the time. On the other side I've got an auto composter so you put things to be composted in the top and then you get bone meal out of the bottom. That's the way down to the mine. Okay and then down in the lower cave I've got some mob drops here. And I've built myself a little infinite water supply. Always handy to have. And then the cave gets a bit more wild as we go to the back. And then up in this little small area, I've got all my red zone stuff. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm very pleased with the way it's all turned out. So now the next thing is I'm going to build a nether portal and see what's in the nether. First of all, I need some obsidian. So I've already been and mined some obsidian and what I always do when I'm mining obsidian is put down a bucket of water because otherwise you tend to lose a lot of obsidian to lava that's underneath. So now it's time to go to the nether and I think I've thought of an ideal location for my very first nether portal. Here we go. My nether portal is going down to the back of this cave. I've just dug out an area ready to take the obsidian. So let's put the obsidian in there. Just need 10 for this portal. And there we go. Light it up. Yep, that's looking good and off we go into the nether. Right, so what kind of um, nether spawn have we got here? Well, it doesn't, apart from that lava there, it doesn't look too bad. Should be able to make something out of this. The first thing I've done now is to make a safe place for a chest with a flint and steel to go. I always do that just so I can relight the portal if anything bad happens. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to make a little safe area around the portal. Doesn't need to be anything fancy at this stage, just somewhere safe.
Okay, well, I couldn't put it with that lava, so I've got been up and sorted the lava out. And now it's time to explore a bit. So if we go up this hill. Ah, now that looks like cobblestone up there. Hello, Enderman. Yeah, I think that this is a road that somebody else has already that somebody else has already built. So let's explore, see where it takes us. Up the steps, through the door. Okay. Gold armor there, if you need it to keep the piglins at bay. I reckon that this is the start of the nether hub. Yeah, because it looks like everybody's base has come off this, so I reckon this will take us to spawn. Let's have a look. It's looking good. It looks like a bubble column coming up. Very nice. How do we get down? Not going to get down there, are we? Ah, I see. Yep, we just drop down into the water. And yep, yeah, here we are at spawn. Excellent. Well, that was very easy. That's going to be a much quicker way of getting back to spawn whenever I, whenever I need to. Just come through the nether. Now, I just want to show you something that I didn't show you in my first video. And that is that the nether portal is in a big strider. Isn't that brilliant? It's so cool. Well done to whoever built that. <laughs> okay. So we'll go back up. And I think for now, we'll head back to base. Right, now I've got some signs done and I just want to get a few stairs together because what I want to do before I finish this episode is to just go back to the nether and build a stone stairway and then put some signposts to my base up. So it's two small heath, turf of the Peaky Miner. Oh, I think I looked at the Enderman. Better run away. Now luckily I've built a little Enderman hide. So, Enderman, you don't scare me. I'm gonna teach you not to mess with the Peaky Miner. <laughs> and there's my first ender pearl. Okay, up the steps we go. Off to the spawn area and finish off my signs. And then it's back to base. So there we are, that's the end of this episode then. And perhaps in the next episode, I can start thinking about my very own shop at Spawn. But until then, I'll say goodbye. Please don't forget to subscribe, and to like this video, and to leave me a comment. 
Until then, I'll see you in the next episode. By order of the Peaky Miner.